show you guys what we have done so we now have an off-road front bumper on the truck which it really i think it, it it completes the look of the truck the grill and we also have a new hood so with everything else we color match the mirror caps as you guys can see that's also uh that's gone it used to be chrome door handles are red uh, it matches with the wheels, which are also color match, and I also got the paint, um, did. So, they went over it, they polished the truck, and it looks great. I got the rear bumper, that's also color match to the truck, and that is really about it. And so, we have one more upgrade that we have to tell you what we have did. So, I got me a tuner for this truck. It is called a Bully Dog, Bully Dog Tuner. And we are currently running a performance tune. And so, the, the tuner has a couple of modes. You got like a, a loop smoke tune, a performance, a race tune, a towing haul. And I think there might be another one, but this tune right now is on performance. And so, this one is aggressive. It's not the most aggressive, because that's race tune. But I didn't want it, since it's going to be something you can drive around in. You don't need that much of aggression tune. So there you go. That's a quick little launch there. And I also got a blow-off valve for the turbo so the turbo has a blow-off valve on it and we have an axle dump as you can see right there so it's just a dumped exhaust but it's also a straight pipe exhaust so <clears throat> there is no cats on this truck as you guys can see if you look up under there there's no cats this straight pipe that's axle dump so Ford F-350 build is coming along great I have to say and as you guys can see like this thing looks good in front of the shop I do have another upgrade it's going to be for the suspension lift kit uh I do have that coming as well we're gonna be slapping that on the truck very soon here uh so today we're going to try to fix up our mangled Corvette ZR1 because this car, I hate seeing it like this. It deserves better. <laughs> so we're going to try to get this car fixed up here as soon as I get my lift to work because I don't know why this lift acts like this. It acts like this for some weird reason. I don't know why. All right, so we got that rear differential out of the car. We got to go and pick up the other one, um, which I'm very glad that did. somebody out here had a 20, um, a rear differential and whole set, like a whole kit. So all we got to do is just slap it in, boat it up, and we should be able to just slap the wheels on. And this car should be, it should be running. It should be fixed. We did get the front tires on the car, so that is absolutely great. Um, so... Let's go and take this truck, since this is really our daily driver now. Five hours later.
these tires are not inflated enough for this uh, for this particular crate. I already messed a corner up. This truck is too it's too powerful. It was a, like I say, bringing this truck is an overkill. Now with the tune, I could turn the tune off, but that's no fun. there it is as you guys can see it's all strapped down and stuff so we're gonna take this crate out i gotta get my forklift and we'll get started putting it in the corvette all right we got our crate we gotta put this in the shop now we'll try to put it right behind the car not trying to hit my car Putting that in the car. I'll see you guys in a, I don't know how long, probably about an hour or two. Later that night. It is late. <laughs> and so it took me longer to do than expected, but we do have it. We got the new rear end on and I actually upgraded the, uh, the, the suspension. So we have racing shocks, racing springs, and racing brake, brake pads. Um... I have to do the same thing to the front but this car is almost done all i gotta do now is i gotta put the wheels on which we're gonna do that in the morning uh because it's, it's been late it's late man and so that is all done so this one it wasn't so it wasn't so tough to um it was just a couple of bent components underneath luckily nothing important was damaged so so far so good anyway i gotta turn the lights off on the forklift because that's how i get lights around here and we're about to head to the house so we're gonna take the the m4 day all right good morning everybody it is a new day and today we're about to head out to go to the shop to get back to work and hopefully we can get that zr1 finished up today we're going to be taking the challenger in So I think today's going to be a good day, a very good day. And we finally figured out what engine we're going to be putting into the, in the, in the Dodge Dakota. So I'm excited about that. I've already tried to, I already went around trying to find an engine. Uh, so far, I haven't gotten lucky yet, but I'm still going to be looking around trying to see if I can find one. Even if I got to take one out of an out of a car to put in, we, we, we are going to get an engine for that truck, so. But today, we're finishing the ZR1. 
today, we will have a ZR1 sitting next to this Challenger, so we will see. I started or finishing up what I did yesterday. All right, so this is what we've all been waiting for is to be able to drop this on the ground and everything should look good, which I am hoping. Let me get this out of the way. Now, I still have to ingest the suspension, but for the most part, it is pretty much dialed in. I just got to ingest it just a little bit. All right, so there we go. We got the suspension, I think, ingested pretty good. All right, let's fire it up. It's really difficult to put traction down. And by the way, I do have traction control on and I still can't get traction. Look at this. I'm about to head back to the shop, see if I can get a hold of a drag tire and that should help with the traction issue. So, but other than that, the car seems to be running, driving fine, so we will see. I forgot to put the engine cover back on the engine. I got to do that. Oh, man. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a, in a couple hours because I got to find some tires to put on here. This thing is moving, man. <laughs> this thing is so quick. So, yeah, man. This thing got a speed limiter on it, so we're not really allowed to push it. But uh, we got some work to do. This thing is nasty. This is a nasty. This ZR1 is absolutely one of my new favorite cars. <laughs> it is my new favorite car. That is so sick. I love this car. <laughs> I love this. Oh my. Wow. Yep, this is my new favorite. <laughs> oh my goodness, I gotta get this truck out of the way. We're gonna do a dyno run on the car because I really want to see what this thing can do. 
So let me get this thing set up on it. So I'll be back the next day. All right, we are now set up on the dyno. Yes, it is the new day. We had to do a lot to get this set up, but we got it finally set up. At least the car is code, so we will have an accurate number. So without further ado, I got to get my dyno graph up here and we will fire it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our Chevy Corvette ZR1 is about to hit the dyno. Fire it up. Six hundred and thirty five horsepower. Six hundred and thirty five horsepower is what the Corvette made to the back wheels there. So that's not bad. So we're about to do a second turn. Um, we're going to do a second pull here in a minute. But that is actually some really good numbers. That is crazy. So far, it's consistent. Back-to-back -back numbers. And it's making around 630. It, it makes around the same amount of, of torque. So power-to-torque ratio is actually about even. So that is awesome. Total amount of horsepower doesn't even peak until literally it doesn't even peak until like uh 5700 rpm that's where that power band really likes it like right there that's the that's really the sweet spot on this car is like sit um but that's when your torque starts to fall down so you drop in torque but that power is just hitting right there and it just starts to fall off after 6000 so that's consistent. We're going to do one more pull and see exactly where we're at. But to make three passes to the same number, I consider that a, a win. Six hundred and thirty six horsepower. Six hundred and thirty six horsepower. Yep. Yep, it's definitely making its numbers there, man. That is good. So we know where we're at in horsepower. So I'm gonna give you guys an on road power band so we know. But it was like we know what it makes on the dyno, but what it makes on the street. Yeah, 
Those numbers are accurate, man. My neighbors are gonna literally hate me for this. <laughs> but this car is absolutely amazing. I love... Every minute I drive the ZR1, I absolutely love it. I cannot get enough of the ZR1. The ZR1 is absolutely, hands down, one of my new favorite cars to drive in this game. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Great purchase all around. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link down in the description. It's not, you know, it's not a paid mod at all. Like, just go and get it. Like, this thing is absolutely great. We got quite the collection, don't we? But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post bangers like this. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.